What's up guys? Welcome to another Build a Break Garage episode. In today's episode, we're going to start modifying some coilovers to go on Scotty's Saturn. Uh, he's got brand new Max Speed or something, like the cheap eBay ones. Even though you can't see it because Midori's bumper is all off, but we got brand new coilovers. Uh, so these are the cheap ones, the cheapest ones that you can completely buy. And I'm excited to see how they ride and see the difference between the red sled and these on Scotty's car and um, it'll be interesting to actually finally be able to put, put to bed how these things ride compared to the Racelands. I've heard everyone always says that they ride bad, but I think that those people just don't know how coilovers ride and they actually don't ride that bad. So we're gonna find out. Yeah, so today I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail on exactly how you modify these coilovers for a WRX to fit on a Saturn. Uh, it should be interesting. So. Uh, hang on tight and uh, we'll get started here in a minute. All right, so first things first, gotta take them apart and get the bottoms off. Oh, this thing's weigh a ton. First things first, I gotta get this bottom piece off and I'm also gonna be experimenting and seeing if I can switch the front top hats for the rear top hats. Uh, I'll explain more of that in detail in a minute, uh, but I'm gonna try to switch those around really quick. Make sure the rears fit on the front so that way I can use the rear top hats that come in this kit on the front because the way that this camber adjustment setup is, the way you gotta drill the holes for the front, it comes really close to those holes. Um, basically, they gotta redrill the holes like that. So the rear ones give me more material around the hole here and uh, they allow it to be a little bit of a stronger uh, mounting bracket, I guess. And uh, so I'm gonna try to do that. Uh, I've never screwed with these uh, coilovers before, so uh, it's gonna be a learning experience. So I'm gonna try it and see if it works. And if it does, great. And if it doesn't, then uh, I guess I'm using the front ones up front. So first things first, I gotta get these disassembled and uh, get them ready to be ground and cut. So. All right, well, uh, I got all the bottoms off of the coilovers, as you can see, got them all off. And I even took the rear top hats and put them up front, and it did fit. So that is good news on that front. So I'll be able to use the rear top hats up front just like I would on the Raceland coilovers. As you can see, I got all the parts disassembled. Got the, that is the rear top hat on a front one. So now I got to bang out those studs and get the, uh, top hat off the coilover right now and get it down so that I can mark out the holes and drill new holes for the studs. Okay, well I got all the coilovers all apart, got all the pieces that I need to modify ready to go. The next thing to do is to pound out these studs out of the um, top hat so I can get ready to move. Uh, the thing you gotta do is you gotta have something that it allows for the stud to come out as you're pounding on top of it. And I always put the nut up top here so I don't bang in the threads. Uh, that's the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all six of these studs out and then uh, we're gonna start figuring out where our holes go. Okay, so I got all the studs beaten out and I luckily, since I've done this so many times, have a template basically to use as for where the stud locations are so what I do is I take it and I lay it over top of the over top of the mount and then figure out which the best location is which on this one it looks like we're gonna be going a little bit different than normal because if I put it the way I normally do I don't think there's enough material for the to drill through so I'm actually twisting this a little bit and I'm going to be putting it like that hopefully that works so worst come to worst I can always use the front top hats and make some new mounts but uh, we're gonna give this a shot so now I got to find a drill bit um, I'm gonna start with a small hole and then I'm gonna try to find a drill bit that is close enough that I can press the studs back in so uh, yeah so hopefully everything works out so yeah time to grab the drill Okay, well I got all the holes drilled on the first top hat. So a little trick that I like to do on uh, the second top hat 
is since they're both the same piece, I will I bolt them together as you can slightly see. And now it gives me a template to be able to perfectly match from one side to the other. And uh, now I can just drill through those holes. Then uh, I'll have both top, both front top hats already modified and pretty much ready to go on at that point. So uh, yeah, I just gotta drill three more holes and then pound the studs back in. And then we have front hot, front top hats. And we use the stock rear top hats in the back. So uh, top hats will be all set. The next part is the the least favorite part that I like to do is uh, have to grind out all these little holes on these uh, bottom pieces. So yeah, I'm gonna get these holes drilled and then uh, we'll have front top hats. Okay, and just like that, I have both drilled out and ready in the right holes. Now, if you do it right, uh, and you find the right size drill bit, you can see that the studs are just barely poking out, just kind of in the hole a little bit. So a good whack with the sledgehammer will get them stuck and uh, they'll be just like they were when uh, we received them. So super easy. Uh, the top hats are the easiest part of this whole modification. The hardest part is getting these holes here drilled or ground down so that way they fit onto the Saturn knuckle. So. That, there's eight holes and that's gonna take most of the time. And uh, you gotta have a good rotary bit on a die grinder. And uh, it has to be like carbide or something because those are very uh, thick metal. Uh, it's gonna take a while, it's gonna take a steady hand and uh, it's a pain in the ass. But uh, I guess uh, you're gonna watch me do it. So let's get to it. Okay, so now we got the top hats all set up. Next is to grind the holes down in the um, hub area, hub knuckle part where it bolts up to the knuckle, I'm not sure what it's called, but uh, it always helps to have a spare knuckle laying around. Uh, the fronts and the rears are the same spacing, so you can use uh, the same knuckle for all four of these. As you can tell, basically you can get one bolt in, and then you can see here that that one needs to be ground down, but we're going to grind down the bottom one so the front top one lines up so you can have camber adjustment, and the back one needs to be ground so you can get it in. So what I recommend is getting a bench vise and locking it in. So you have a nice, nice service, uh, nice to be able to hold, a, hold on the part. And uh, yeah, next part is start grinding it. So this is the least favorite part. As you can tell, I'm wearing safety glasses now because metal goes everywhere with these. I mean, if you're not wearing safety glasses, I guarantee you're getting metal in your eye. So safety first on this for sure. Trust me, you don't want metal in your eye. I've got metal in my eye before. They had to pick it out with a pick. Um, it was not fun. And it almost made me pass out in the doctor's office. So, highly don't recommend getting metal in your eye. So, definitely take the precaution. Wear safety glasses when doing this because it is going to go everywhere. Um, this is the biggest pain in the ass about doing this whole modification. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Only eight holes to go. Well, so far I've gotten almost three out of four done. Uh, it's going a lot easier than it normally does, thank God. But uh, I think it's because I'm actually putting these in the vise to actually hold them. Um, as you can see, that one's pretty much done. It's going really smoothly, thank God. Um, this is like the worst thing. Like, this is like the part that I look forward to the least is uh, grinding these holes out because normally it is just a pain in the ass. But uh, luckily it's going pretty easy on these ones, so. Uh, yeah, I'm almost done, and then uh, I'll just put all, put all back together and figure it out. Okay, and now I got all four done. That actually took me less than an hour, which is amazing. Uh, normally it takes me a little bit longer than that because I give up halfway through and then have to restart. But uh, these ones went really smooth, really easy. They're all ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and set them up onto the coilovers. Uh, I took some measurements of my old shock, which I will show you. I, did, I have a set of coilovers that I previously had on Midori. Um, these are the rears. Now, this right here shows you where the lock ring is. 
and that is at six and three quarters from the bottom of the strut um this right here the whole length of the strut from the bottom of the spring is 10 inches the ones that scotty got are actually longer which it doesn't matter in the rear thank god um there's plenty of space to uh, drop these things as low as possible but these ones here are 12 inches from the bottom of the uh, spring so I have to figure out where this lock ring goes. Uh, it should go eight and three quarters up from the bottom. So hopefully that'll get us in a ballpark. Uh, we do all of our final, final adjustments on the car, but uh, first things first is to kind of get them generally set up and then uh, we do all the fine tuning later. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these set up uh, real quick and then uh, put some anti-seize on them as well. Uh, that's super important uh, for us living in Michigan, um, especially with these being cheap coilovers. More than likely, they're probably going to seize if we don't put anti-seize on them. So I'm going to anti-seize them up and get them uh, all screwed up. No, not screwed up, but you know. <laughs> but we're going to get them all uh, lined up and uh, set in the position. And then, uh, yeah, we get started from there. So enjoy watching me thread all these things back on, which is just going to take forever. And just like that, we have four coilovers pretty much ready to be installed onto the car. I uh, just got to put the, when we take the rear, the stock, when we take the stock hats off the, or take the stock rear shocks off, then we use the top hats from those onto the coilovers, so they'll bolt right up. Other than that, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it was detailed enough. Uh, I'm going to try to get this edited up today, so that way I can uh, get it up too soon. But, uh... Yeah, I'm um, pretty much done. So in the next month, or probably the next like two months, three months, uh, we're gonna be installing these onto Scotty's car. Uh, there's no point in installing them right now because of this. Yeah, so there is no point to be installing coilovers when you have this crap on the ground, but these are also his new wheels that are going on, so. Uh, they are 18, so we're not going to be able to slam it too uh, hard, which kind of sucks, but uh, hopefully I can uh, get them into some 17s here uh, after we get uh, this all set up. So we're going to try to go as low, as low as we can on these 18s, though. I'm going to try to slam it, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Those tires are kind of big. So other than that, uh, thank, you for very, thank you very much for watching this video, and uh, you guys have a great day. Peace.